We are beginning the notes for section one of unit four. I want you to take these notes in your notebook and you can label it with section one unit four in your notebook. We're going to be going through some examples talking about polynomials and polynomials look something like this x squared uh, y might be a polynomial or 2x minus z squared would be another polynomial. Uh, and we'll go through different classifications of how we might call these things, but these are the kinds of algebraic expressions we're going to be looking at. Things that have uh, letters, numbers, and powers uh, and are divided into chunks by addition and subtraction. In this first one here you'll see there's just one chunk, no addition or subtraction. Here there's two chunks. And each of those chunks is going to be called a term. So when we write out the word polynomial, poly means many. So we're going to be talking about uh, an algebraic expression with many terms. And a polynomial can have uh, within each term, you can have letters uh, or numbers. You can have variables or constants. What you're not allowed to have is variables in the denominator. So, uh, so we'll say letters in numerator. Are okay. That would be something like 2x squared would be uh, okay. Uh, letters in denominator or variables in the denominator would not be okay. Something like 2 over x would be would be bad now we're going to move on to some specific types of polynomials that we are going to refer to and I'm just going to write them all out at once we have monomial binomial and trinomial So mono by tri. Monomial is going to be one term. So like mono by yourself. Binomial, like a bicycle, is going to be two terms. Trinomial, like a tricycle, is going to be three terms. And all of them are going to be polynomials. So in your notes you want to lay this information out so it will be able to be easily referenced later. Last thing we want to take notes on in this section is a standard form. When we put something into standard form it means that we put the highest powers first. So terms with highest powers or highest exponent go first. So for example if you had something like x minus 2x squared plus 1 that would become, in standard form, this term being first, because that term right there has, this term right here, has the highest power. So we're going to go ahead and write that one first. And the negative comes along with whatever it is in front of. So even though it's x minus 2x squared, it is going to be a negative 2x that comes out to the front negative 2x squared that comes out front. 
the next highest power is going to be this x here, because think of it as x to the 1. So we're going to write plus x to the 1. So we've used up that one, we've used up that one. And then we have finally just the number 1. That's almost like saying 1x to the 0 power. Whenever it's just a number, it's like having the letter to no power, to a 0 power. So this here would be the standard form version of what was on the left, because the highest power terms go first, followed by the next highest power terms all the way to the end.